yeah. And uh, you mentioned Jerry Heller first and foremost. He was a uh, huge friend of the show. Rest in peace to him. Shout out to Terry Heller. Yeah. Shout out to Gary Ballin. Um, what was your relationship like with Jerry? Uh, I know he meant a lot to you. Very close. Very close. Um, it's so unreal to me that he's not here. It's just, oh, my goodness. It's, I think that's some, something I still haven't really dealt with either. Um, you know, just, I, I mean, I like to say he was like a grandfather to me. You know, he was a, a, a second father to my dad. And, you know, even after my father's passing, I spent many years being close with, with Jerry and his his um, wife, Gail, over 20 years. Like, this, that was my family. Like, even when, when I think, when I got, like, around, like, 15, 16, I, my mother and I actually ended up moving in the same, like, gated community as him. So we only lived, like, a block down. And, um, you know, we just spent a lot of time. Jerry taught me a lot. Um, I, I, I believe, honestly, anybody who had a relationship with Jerry – whether he meant to be or not, he was definitely like a mentor, um, you know, a, a very, a very, very interesting person. And, and I, I definitely want to share his side of his story through this documentary as well. Oh, yeah, he, he was very humble. I mean, me and Matt could hit him any time. You know what I mean? He, he, you know, mm-hmm. he, he would answer us like we were just a regular person just like him. You know, I, he was a real good dude. <laughs> Real good dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jer- there was a Jerry, Jerry, he, I think he dealt with every, really, like, people really had the worst misconception about him, like, really painted him as this bad guy, as this monster, but he was a genius, a genius, and and I, I really want to show that. I want people to know the history of him, like, he, he, he was NWA wasn't even the only group that he worked with. You know what I mean? He did so much in music, so much in business. He made it possible for NWA to be who they even were. Like, he made it possible for Eazy-E to be who he was. And if my father was alive, I'm pretty sure that he would tell everybody the same thing. So it's like while people are so angry and people are so bitter or people think that he was so evil, like, without him, you have to ask yourself, would, would, would this have happened? Would, you know, would we have gotten to this point without him? Had he not believed in us at that time? You got to remember at this time in late 80s, what was going on in the world at that time? You know what I mean? Like who was really trying to believe in a rap group from Compton talking about exactly. the things they were seeing on the street? You know what I mean? Like that was that was a big deal and it wasn't easy. They They really broke down a lot of barriers. They made a lot possible. And Jerry was a big part of that. And I, I think at the time, I think my, my, my father being just as intelligent as he was and a visionary, he was, he was able to recognize that at a young age back then. And I don't think that everyone else was able to. I think there was more just, um, I don't even know the word, more selfish or, you know, more just thinking like they were so talented, maybe thinking that no matter what it was going to happen, but you know, you, you just never know. But I, I was you never know that. With the mm-hmm. help of Jerry, it, it it made it all possible and, and you know, I I just wish that more people really knew his story and more people were grateful for him and, and you know, the 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 part that he played in the situation.